guys. Welcome back to the DIY Designer. Thanks for coming back for another fantastic episode. If you're here today, you are probably here because you watched last week's awesome before and after transformation of that hideous spare bedroom into the glorious glam dressing room. I love that space and I can't wait to show you guys really all the little DIYs on how I decorated it. Last week we focused a little bit more on the actual build out of the closet, but this week I wanna show you how I made the illuminating mirror. I wanna show you a little bit on how I made over that awesome dresser. And then the really cool black matte letters on the wall, we're gonna show you how I did those as well. So it's all gonna be coming up right here. Let's get started. All right, so the first one I wanna start with is this really cool illuminating mirror. This is so easy to do, and I'm gonna show you how I did it on a mirror, but just keep in mind that you could actually do this on anything. A big family photo, picture frame, you could even do it on those letters, the big love letters that I did. So the technique can be used on anything, um, but it's super simple, so this is how I did it. So the first thing I need are my glue dots. I'm gonna link below where I got these, but these little suckers are amazing for tons of projects. You're just gonna put them on the back side of your mirror, approximately six to eight inches apart, working on all the way around. Now, the next thing you want are your copper lights. Again, link below. These are so fantastic and really flexible to use. And you're just gonna work your way around and press them into each of the glue dots you already put on the back side of your mirror. I decided I wanted to go around twice because double the lights, double the glow. And there you can see, they just kind of smush together and look great. I realized that a second glue dot on top of the old one was necessary to create a little sandwich and really hold them into place even longer. I just love so much the way this came out. It creates the most beautiful glow in the room. The color is amazing and it just feels so special. Okay. Next one we're gonna do is this fantastic dresser. It was a really kind of boring old dresser, as you can see. It was sort of an off-white color, so it didn't really match with the new bright white I put on the walls. So I wanted to give it a nice little facelift. And I'm really only gonna show a little bit of this DIY. And that's because I didn't do the whole thing myself. So I decided to send it out and have a wood top put on because that was kind of beyond my skill set. The body of it was also painted a pale gray. And then the knobs were painted gold, but when I saw them in person, I just thought that it looked, I don't know, sort of like cheap. I didn't like it. So I removed those knobs, which left a little gold residue and surprisingly I kind of liked it so I kept it. I bought these knobs from Hobby Lobby and I simply inserted them in where the old knob went and you just use the nut provided and tighten it as much as you can. Now all of my knobs have been changed out and I really like it but when I saw it from far away I did not like the dark wood of the top so I decided to sand it down. I rented a palm sander from Home Depot and sanded it as much as I could and then stained it with like a really warm tone. I love the shade that this came out and when the whole thing was done the color just really fit my aesthetic and the room much more. It was just a softer, more beautiful tone. New knobs, everything just really fit my style much, much better. All right, it's time for the love letters. I'm obsessed with these. I love them. It's too much. Too much! I'm gonna link below where I bought the letters. They were 60% off when I bought them, um, but they always have them available, even if they're not on sale. So I'm gonna link them below. But really it was a matter of giving them a facelift and making them fit my space a little bit better. And it's such an easy um, tutorial. And I'm gonna include the little lamp in this because I sort of did them at the same time because I used the same spray paint. So the first thing that you're gonna do is wipe down your surface and make sure to get rid of any dust or any debris. You need a really, really clean surface to make sure your spray paint actually adheres. Next, protect all your electrical. That includes your socket and your actual cord there. You're gonna tie it up, cover it with paper, and make sure to spend extra attention on that little area where your lamp meets your cable. Next, I chose a satin bronze for the inside and a flat black for the outside. I spray painted the inside of my light with the gold and just gave it a couple of coats until it had that really nice pop of gold that I wanted. Now, turn down the lamp so that we don't get any of the black spray paint on the inside. A few light coats, really go over and over with light coats, not one heavy coat or you'll get drips. And I did the same thing with my letters. Now, you're gonna see everything's gonna appear shiny and black, but that's only because it's still wet. It will dry matte black. Now I wanted a little bit of gold edging, so I took a flat brush and dipped it in the gold spray paint and just edged out all my letters. Really take your time doing this, but if you do notice that you make a mistake, it's no problem. You can go back in with a paintbrush or even spray paint back over it, no problem at all. Now, I really am obsessed with the way that it looked. It has this really soft, beautiful detail. I love the way that it pops on the wall. The gold etching really made a huge difference. What are you doing? That was, I don't know, we're in the jungle. I have ivy in my new house, you guys. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> 
that's it. Look at how easy these were. I mean, when you really think about it, that room came together in kind of an amazing way. The closet was crazy easy to build. All of the DIYs were surprisingly simple. So everything, as always, is gonna be linked below. If you have any questions, please message me. Feel free to message me either here on the new website or on the YouTube page, wherever you want. I am happy to answer all of your questions. Um, and make sure to subscribe and share this with a friend if you like it. I'm gonna be doing a lot more home decor segments now that I have a brand new house that I'm gonna be renovating. So if there's any suggestions um, or things that you guys wanna see, please send them my way. Thanks again for watching. Mwah, mwah, mwah.